to this idea that justice has to come through things like the Labour Party yes. or even stop the war or any of these things here. Right now, what I see in this room, this is a grassroots movement. Mm. We're talking about Africans. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you, let me tell you about something, yeah? I've heard a lot about, I haven't heard enough, but sometimes I hear people talk about Africa, you know, it's nowhere near enough. But this is the first meeting where we're talking about hands of Africa and we have Africans here. You know what I'm saying? In large numbers. Yeah, and we have people not, not talking in, in, sympathetically. People standing up and coming saying, we show solidarity from Latin America. I'm, I'm, I'm Asian. I show solidarity with the African resistance. And let me tell you something. It's not a, a base of, I mean, we're all resisting together imperialism. But I have no, you know, you know, it, it doesn't, it, I take great pride and saying that some of the, the biggest inspirations for me are African revolutionaries. Mm -hmm. When we talk about Lumumba, <laughs> Eddie Shab said it when he said, as a Bengali, he wants to stand in Britain and say hands of Africa. You know, I relate to that because to, to even wish for justice in, in Bangladesh or Sri Lanka or in, across Latin America or in Britain as a white man or as a white woman or as a, a British person, you know, you have to point back to Africa. You have to, yeah? But um, the way he said, over 500 years, Africans have been fighting this battle, yeah? So when we look at our point of reference, I know you came from a university and you were offering criticism. I take that, no, no that's okay. But let me tell you something. I get my inspiration and I, I, I'll take criticism from the most oppressed because they have, have been resisting for the longest. That's who I look up to. And I don't need to be in a university for that. I get on the street. That's where I see. That's where I see you, bro. That's where I see hands of Somalia. That's what we've been. We've been out on the street collecting. Let me tell you, it's a struggle. I'm just kind of new to the organization in that sense, the campaign in that sense. But let me tell you, it is a struggle. We struggle yes. to find weekly meeting rooms. Yes. That's how bad it is. I know some people may not want this out, but I want it out because we need your help. We didn't come here to talk and go home and say, yeah, yeah, come on, yeah. Yeah. Go no, 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 We came here. I mean, people were saying, join our organization, join the campaign. Come to the Tuesday meeting this week. Yeah. If you can't make it this week, make it next week. But I don't want, I don't want it to be like, oh, maybe I might go to the next conference. Or talk. No, 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 you, we need you. We need to expand this. There's a lot of different organizations here. We set up stores intentionally. Yeah? Go talk to people from Uhuru. Talk to people from FRFI. Talk to people from Hands of Somalia. Mona's right here. We're all part of a different organizations. Network. Do something. Let's let's do something. Let's make some action, not just words. That's what I have to say. Thank you.